All right, here we are. Everything is done and the house is under contract and we're about to close. So before we take everything out of here, let me show you what we did. Here we are inside. So excited to show this to you. So behind me, I don't know if you remember, but it was so stark. There were just some short blue curtains and there was nothing going on in here. So what we did was we took the high curtains and we took them up as far as we could go because we had this end wall to contend with. So we really couldn't go higher than that. But that still gave us eight feet and no, it gave us nine feet. So we got the 108 inch curtains and we took them all the way around. And then I couldn't really find a piece of art that I liked for there. So I put the mirror, it was very stark on the sides. So what I did was I made a couple of floral arrangements and I just got them as tall as, as we could. Honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't put the little blue sticks in the back. I would just probably put curly willow. And, um, but you know, at least it gave us some color and some height and some warmth. And then we just dressed it all out with some really beautiful furnishings. So on to the dining area. So here we brought in um, a dining table and we have a you know, setting for eight here. I would have probably preferred to put more, but this is the table we had to work with, so that's what we did. But you always want to show as many seats as possible because you just don't know when you're staging how big the family is or what their needs are. So more is better in that case. Um, so here we went ahead and refinished. The homeowner had these bar stools here, but they were dark brown and they just didn't really go with the decor that we were putting in. So we did, actually we have another DIY on this, how we redid these bar stools. And I think they came out really good. They match everything really well. And um, so into the kitchen, we just put a few little things around and warmed it up and made it really kind of cozy feeling. All right, on to the master bedroom. I love how this room turned out. I really, really love it. I was so worried about this room. The master bedroom is so important, but we were able to get a king size bed in here, two small nightstands to accommodate lamps, and then we put a piece of furniture here. I love this piece of furniture. This came out of a church. We drove, I think, an hour and a half one way to get it, and then I faux painted it. It was kind of like a yellowy, reddish wood, but um, it was actually a cane holder, so there was no glass on top, and people would come into church, and they put their canes and, I guess, umbrellas there or whatever, but I am in love with this, and I love how it has this pattern here, the arabesque um, pattern, so really very beautiful, but my point in that long rant is that People can see that they can put a piece of furniture here, a king size bed, and although it's not the biggest, it still accommodates most needs. So, on to the bathroom. So again, we have the Jack and Jill situation here, which is not ideal, but again, we did okay because the house is so fantastic. So we just made it super cute. We just decorated it and um, made it adorable and it worked. So this is the Jack and Jill part with the tub. We have the blue tub here. So again, not ideal, but we put the pretty curtain. We did a, there's eight foot ceilings here. So we did a 96 inch, just a regular curtain with a tension rod. And um, it worked out really good. It increases the height visually. So now we have the other side of the Jack and Jill. Look how pretty. We did a very different feel on this side. So we did the whites and the golds over there, and then we did the greens, and I feel like it visually kind of gave a separation, so that felt like part of the master, and this feels like part of the rest of the living space. So I love how this came out. All righty, on to the green room. We're in this green room. This was the mint green room, and um, I love how it turned out. We've got the single bed here, I've actually got the King Comforter on here. I love it, we used the white, and we actually used the mint green color to our advantage because we just brought in some decor that accentuated that color and made it look really, really nice. So I think it's very soft, and the single bed in here turned on the side like a day bed. 
gives it the um, illusion of actually more space probably than what's in here. So we allocated the space well, I think. We did two chairs and a little table so people could see that they could put anything here. It's, you know, it just shows the opportunity for more space. Upstairs we go. Upstairs. This is one of my favorite spaces right here. So originally, there was nothing here. So it just showed, I think people like me really hate to see blank spaces that are completely unused. They think empty square footage, I get nothing for my money. So I'm like, we have to do something with this space. This space is so cool. So what we did, and let me say, we agonized and we all talked about this for like a week before we figured it out. Because we had to find something that was not very expensive. Um, and so what we did, I ordered this bookcase from Target and it was really awesome. Um, and then, we, so we just decorated this and we put a picture that kind of brought, cause you can see this from downstairs. So it had to match here and it had to match there. And, and then we just put a little chair in the corner. Now, one of the things we did, I love this lamp. I think I got this from um, Home Depot, I'm pretty sure. And what I love about this is it not only fills up a corner, but you get three lights out of it. And I have 100 watt LEDs in here, the warm lights. So it lights up the space, it fills up the space, it increases the height, and then we put a chair underneath. We put some books here on the bookshelf, and that gives people the idea of a cozy little reading nook. So this came out really, really good. Now on to the first bedroom upstairs. I love these ceilings. These ceilings are so high. And the room was already a nice size. So those two things combined gave uh, the feeling of a lot of space. So we just decorated this and put some color and lamps and uh, turned out really good. There is a bathroom up here. Now, I will say that <laughs> one of the objections was that this ceiling came down. And, uh, but I think most people are gonna have kids up here. So they got past the objection, but I wanna show you what we did. So this is how we made it look really cute. We put, again, a regular curtain, but this time we used a pattern and some colors. And then we had the, the towels and the artwork and an orchid, and we put everything in here to pick up the colors that are in there. And it gave it a really cohesive feel. The, um, the brown on the walls is picked up in the shower curtain. And I think that looks really nice. I think the final bedroom is next. So here it is, and I love how this space came out. We decided to go with just a gray and kind of blue. Um, these windows, I want to show you another little trick. Um, just, you know, the first appearances, these windows have kind of like a haze on them. I actually think they just need to be cleaned. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But sometimes you'll have windows where the seal has broken or it's foggy and it just looks really ugly. It's not good for first impressions and it certainly doesn't do your pictures any justice. So we just took some shears. It still let the light in. We took colored shears, but it obscured the view of what was on the window that just didn't do justice to the room. Again, we put that single bed. We could have put a bigger bed in here because this room certainly has enough space. So either way, but I really like how this came out. and. Um, also, because we had a big blank space over here, we chose to put a cute little desk. Um, this came from Target as well. And um, just put a little mirror up there and it kind of gives the illusion of like a window. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned some more about staging and how to get top dollar when you sell. My name is Carrie Lawless. Thank you so much for watching. And if you will subscribe, that would be awesome because that way we can send you amazing new content. I don't want you to miss anything because it's gonna be good. Also ring the little bell uh, for notifications so you'll know when we have something new. Thanks so much.